Define those travels as you can. What's going on, everyone? Welcome, goglings, gogorifics, gog peoples of the world. I hope everyone's doing well. As the song fades out, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 377 of Pen and Pixels. I am your host, Arvin Elleron. This is the show that focuses on story and narrative in games. And we are here every Tuesday, uh, usually either from 12 to 3 or from 4 to 7 p.m. in some capacity. And it is great to see everybody here. What's up, Drew? Speaking of someone I'm going to be seeing uh, in very short order. And uh, yeah, and I'm very excited to uh, get things rolling and underway for this amazing, awesome game. Before we go any further, just a couple of reminders about ways to support us here on GogComp's Twitch channel. If you haven't done so already, please follow us on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to us here on GogComp's Twitch channel, where you can get custom sub badges and emotes and things like that to use here, there, and everywhere across Twitch. And if you haven't already done so, uh, please make sure as well to click through and check out our individual channels, because we all have our own individual, you know, subsystems and Patreons and things like that, and do various things. Uh, like, for example, what I'm going to mention right now, um, as soon as I turn on the camera. What's going on, everyone? Good to see you all. Um, I did want to mention uh, very quickly, first of all, hi. And I wanted to mention that um, one of the reasons I mentioned that I'm going to be seeing Drew is that Drew's coming to a very important event for me and for us, and that is ARVCON. This is our now ninth annual, hard to believe, but ninth annual charity convention to benefit the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation. And once again, GOGCOM is one of our sponsors, and I'm very grateful to them for again providing some giveaway codes. They are one of our official sponsors joining a record list. We have uh, technically 10 corporate sponsors, but nine that I'm allowed to mention publicly uh, that are supporting us. And that is a new record for us, which is really great. Also, we're trying for a goal of 7,100. Uh, last year, we made 7,052. We want to try to break that and get to 7,100. We are going to have a whole weekend full of tabletop games. We're going to have a bunch of, uh, we're going to have some interviews. We're going to have uh, a concert. And we are going to have, of course, the GOG crew is going to be very much a part of this uh, coming from First of all, at the concert, Kilgore Trout, who is going to be presenting, um, as usual, doing his amazing guitar play. And then we have also got uh, the members of the Ghosts of Saltmarsh, the D&D with GOG crew, that are going to be joining us as well on Saturday. And so we're going to have a chance to show. GOG is going to be showing out. They will be represented. It's going to be a five-day event, beginning with a live Dungeons & Dragons event at the Klein Memorial Auditorium in Bridgeport, Connecticut. You can still get tickets for this, by the way, online or offline. If you are in the tri-state area uh, in the United States and you are able to drive or fly or something like that and go check it out uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, we'd love to have you. Those are $5 tickets and there will be giveaways for people who come through the door. So there's that. Also, we have uh, online tickets that you'll be able to get to for the stream. Uh, you can actually see it being streamed live from the Klein and it's going to be restreamed uh, on my channel as well. And so you'll be able to check that out Thursday night. All, as I say, to benefit the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation. We will have a bunch of folks live on stage. We will have a bunch of folks in the audience, uh, including Drew and others. And so definitely you should check it out. If you want to know more, you can go over to my channel and you can type in exclamation point Klein, K-L-E-I-N, and you will find out more details about that. And that is starting the day after tomorrow. So I am very excited about that. And I feel it's appropriate to share it with you lovely folks insofar as GOG is uh, sponsoring us. So we've got that going on as well. Today, though, we have got some more chained echoes happening. I am very excited to be getting back into this. I should say that there is going to come a point, I've been looking at other games as well, where I will probably end up taking a break from chained echoes. My feeling is that the break I took from Dragon's Dogma is going 
going to be more or less permanent. I, I just did not really get into that game the way I hoped that I would. This game, though, I have gotten into and I do really like, but I really don't want to be the all-time, you know, Chained Echoes streamer 100%. Like, that's not... I'm not trying to 100% chain echoes, if you know what I mean. So I may end up taking a little bit of a break and then coming back to it. I don't think Drew, I don't think even you've finished it yet, right, Drew? Drew has been playing it as well on his channel. And I don't think you've finished it yet either, right? And so I don't know whether I want to... I don't know. I don't know how long I want to spend on this. Yeah. I'm not sure that I want to spend another 80 to 100 hours doing nothing but this. I've already spent 38 hours. In fact, I'll show you all right now. 38 hours, you can see there uh, on the right is how long I've played this already. So that's a lot. Um, and we've obviously made great progress, but there's still a lot to do. So I don't know. I'll think about it. I've had a lot of other stuff that I've been working through uh, based on getting ready for ARFCON and the end of the semester for me. My teaching semester ended a couple weeks ago and some writing work I had to get done and family stuff and all that. So I, I don't know. Um, I will think about it uh, and we'll see how far we get today. The other note that I want to make today is that I'm only going to be on today for about two hours. I'm going to pull. I'm going to end up uh, closing up shop at right around 6.20 p.m. Eastern. And the reason is that my uh, daughter has a radio play event, a live radio play event where you actually get to see the magic of radio play work being done as a part of her arts program. And so my wife and I are going to be heading over there to watch our daughter. Uh, it starts at seven o'clock. And so we want to make sure that we give ourselves time for that. So shorter stream today, uh, but we will be back to normal business as of next week. And um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, and I saw a little bit of the Tomb Raider stream, as you saw, and that was all pretty cool, Drew, so I was excited about that. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I just may take a break, because as much as I've liked it, I really don't want to spend 100 hours on nothing but Chain Deco, so I, I may take a break and then come back to it later, we'll see. Hey, Infinity Simplex, so we will see. I do see that there's a Celasta DLC, I don't know, I, I don't also want to become, Celasta I have finished, plus the DLC, I don't know that I want to become the Chain Deco's or Celasta streamer, you know, depending on what things go, but anyway. Anyway, uh, but for today, we're going to give this a shot and play it. So uh, let us do that. And let's make that happen. Just uh, updated GOG Galaxy, by the way. Mm hmm. Load save. Uh, where are we? So, see, I don't know where it's getting this hours played thing. It, we have played more than seventeen hours. I promise. Oh no 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 no, that's wrong. This is the amount of time on the right. It is. Never mind. I take that back. Yes, it knows exactly how long we played. I got it. Okay. So thirty six fifty one. Looks like thirty six fifty two is what we want. Now I have to remember what the heck I was doing. It's been a little while since I played this. Uh, fly with your sky armors to the destination. Is this a side quest, maybe? I... I don't remember... I, I don't... I don't remember where I am, so I'm just going to head out. <laughs> What's up, butthurt? with our sky armors. Right. I remember that we now had the sky armors that we could do something. Oh, research facilities. Ah. Damn it. Uh, okay, there's that.
looking to see where the... I think we already got that treasure. Alright. Okay, we're going the right way. Man, those flying islands were a thing. Aha! We are close to the ruins! The church has built a facility on top of the entrance. We have to go through it first. A facility? Will the church let us pass? I will make them, don't worry! I understand, Sir Eagle. And so you spent half of your life in Dorver? Yes. I was sent to the surface to gather wisdom so the Silver could learn more of the world. Somehow, I ended up in Sir Isaac's service. He was a very curious man and had never seen a Silver like me before. I just remembered why I was down there looking. I just remembered. The reason I was down there looking... I'm not going to do this now, but it was because there are more of those grottos where I can pick up the medals. Uh, the emblems, rather. The class emblems. That's what I was looking for. But we're going to keep going with the story. And after your training, you returned to your people? Indeed. Just as I had promised, I came back with a lot of knowledge. And since then, I've been working as a guard for them. My job is to keep monsters and trespassers away. What the... What is wrong, Glenn? Look over there. Countless cages full of monsters. It's all part of this facility. What kind of place is this? Are they doing research on these monsters? We Silva don't interfere in the affairs of the church. Then let me answer your question, my dear. The monsters are born here. The church is raising monsters? Yes. They're artificially created and then distributed all over the world. You're joking. Why would the church do that? How should I know? It sounds pretty evil to me. Monsters spread fear. And fear leads people to faith. Understandably, that's the first thought you might have. But that would be completely preposterous. I know the church is doing some heinous stuff, but something like this sounds like a bad story in an even worse play. You certainly know your stuff, Sienna. I told you I've been here before. Remote places are very appealing to treasure hunters such as myself. Look over there! Big snake. They really do transport the monsters from here onto airships. Please, come. Let's continue. This doesn't seem at all sketchy. With this new load of monsters, we've probably caught up to the facilities in Hecondria. The Pope will be pleased. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, just listening to your inner monologue. Don't worry about it. This place is off limits. Uh huh. I've just on. I've just made the limit go on. What do you think of that? What are you doing here? Entry is forbidden. Mado, you wanted to talk to them. But to be honest, I don't think I can do anything. Wait, what? You said you'd take care of it. Looks like we've got to take care of it ourselves. <laughs> Damn it! Let's notify the command! What are you doing? You must not touch the church. Mato, what did you expect would happen if you let us here? Ah... Mato, where is he, the betraying piece of crap? Something's afoot. We have a bad feeling. Let's find these ruins quickly. This was not predictable at all, Jet, by the way. Just to be clear, no one could have predicted. It's been two weeks since it was born. If we can keep it alive for at least a year, we can call this a success. 
This is very Final Fantasy uh, Genova, you know what I'm saying? Sephiroth! Or as Pyron Jade always liked to do it, Zephyros. Ah, you, you haven't seen anything! Ah! Uh. What's up, Triffid? Welcome, welcome. What is that? Oh my god. Looks like a huge lump of flesh. What are you doing here? You all need to leave immediately. Out with it. What is that thing? You said it yourself. A lump of flesh. Stop your babbling and explain. Sienna, calm down. What is the matter with you? Is it a failed experiment? It doesn't look like you can do much except sit there idly. Failed? Not at all. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. A life form that has an incredible amount of ether stored in it. Ether? But why? What's going on here? A high inquisitor of the church. Sir Raphael, if I'm not mistaken. I'm completely unfamiliar with this facility. All these monsters. Your Excellency, what is the meaning of this? Sienna, what are you doing here? Um, well... Explosions? Oh, God. There you are! I told you to wait at the entrance! Run! This whole place is gonna blow up! What? Mato, what have you done? Explanations will have to wait! Uh... Don't be in such a hurry. General Godfrey. Well, well, well. Princess Celestia, the traitor. Let us through or we'll all go up in flames. Go up in flames? What's so bad about that? <laughs> what are we going to do? We don't stand a chance against him. That's right, so die. Whoa. Raphael. I don't know what's going on here, but this place belongs to the church and none of you have any business here. How sweet. You think with your sword you can stand against my flames of hell? Yeah! <laughs> what the? How strong are you? Damn! This sword is blessed by the light of God. It burns much hotter than any flame you wield. Your flames will not avail you, flame of Hoodoon! You have my respect. A mere human achieving such strength as yours is astounding but it is still just the strength of a human being. What is he doing? Feel the power bestowed by the Grand Grimoire. Oh, damn. Uh. Feel the power of the gods. Raphael. Now to you, traitor. We have to fight. Are you out of your mind? He didn't have time to channel his magic and he's badly hurt. True. This is the best chance we can get to deal with this candle. Well, try blowing me out then. <laughs> Engage. Okay, um, well. This all looks really bad. Hmm. Alright, let's see. What is... You're weak to water, huh? Uh... All right, I need to knock him down. I don't like the fact that I'm starting with her. There's not much I can do about it, but... So, let's... Let's make everyone critical here. Ow. Ow. Feeding fire. Flame intensity raised, okay? Well, guess what, my dude? It's time for the full move. Remove. I gotta use him because of water, so we're gonna use her. Oh, okay, no, good. Uh, for a minute, I'm like, ah, okay. 
Water thrust. Let's do it. Um, okay. And let's throw Requiem on here. No, let's uh, X slash. Petal Storm active. Overdrive, drive, good, excellent. Flames intensify even more. That's very bad. None of that was good. Uh, let's see. Let's go with. Well, oh, everything is broken. That's right. So let's go with. Um, Now, let's go with uh, Cross Slash. I hope this is not one of those deals where it, she just puts it back immediately. That would be irritating if that were the case. Everybody healed. Okay. Right. All right. Now. If it turns out he can just, like, respawn those arms, I'm not going to be happy about it. Yeah. But he has to flame intensity. Okay. Right, right, right. Never mind, then. We're going straight after the bad guy. I understand the theory behind why we do that, but... Um, okay. Nice. I don't even know what the hell that is, but I needed that to get out of overdrive. go. I love everything about that. Um. Okay. I could be doing more damage to Godfrey just by itself, but I think this is worth going this way because we really could use I, I don't know I, I I think it makes sense to try to take a few more of those attacks down ouch well that's bad ouch uh Do this to get out of this and all right who goes next any way I can defeat either of these maybe come on oh it's not quite enough damn it all right all of these are good I'm very glad about that I need to use that anyway and also the weakness level. They still got defensive buff, so. down. It's okay. Okay, 
Okay, good. That does not attack now. Oh, I could have used Ultra Move. Ah. Damn, 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 damn. Well, actually, I have a way to deal with this now that I think of it. Uh, let's see. Water Jump. Flame Intensity goes down. that charging rather than using his power shot yeah I'm I'm that's my next plan actually because I needed that regen also ouch okay he did not bring those guys back which is interesting. Uh, all right. Nice. Way to go. Outstanding. Yep. 889. No joke. Okay. Still have the offensive buff. We have two more on that defensive buff, but... Yeah, we need, we need to do that. I know it's extending it, but we need to do that to bring that back into overdrive. Gonna try one more with Rob. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use forgot to use water jump. <clears throat> Not great. Not great. Um, I really can't have Victor go down. I hate to do that. But it's a good thing I did, because otherwise he would have been a dead man. So I'm glad that he did. Okay, now this is what I should have done the last time. Overdrive is an unfortunate time to get overheat. Okay, I could have been worse. I'm charged. Ah, that's right, his charge only lasts once. Man, I, w I forgot. I thought it stayed the whole time. Well, shoot. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Need to be taking some damage on this guy. Yeah, she has search, but I... I I don't know if I want to take the time to use that skill right now. I think it's her class emblem gives that to her, Drew, but... Um, this time I'm going to actually use that shot. Uh, let's see. Defensive buff is still there. Still regenerating. Hmm. 
Oh, that's that was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right, it worked out. I got to get out of overheat. Got to get out of overheat. That's useful. Charged and power shot and also drop that down. It's okay, it's not an overheat anymore. Uh, let's see. Still got HP regen. TP regen. I got offensive buffs. Alright, let's just do that. Stay, everybody stay healed. Ouch. Yeah, I think I may have been underusing Rob on this on this attack with the charge thing. It takes a while to set up, so that's why. Ah, don't want to keep using. Okay, I did that for that reason. I love that. Got the ultra move. Are these the limits of my power? You are the same as Matthew. What is it with you men's lust for power? You always bite off more than you can chew. Ouch. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Uh, we are going to heal all. And now it's time for a little thing we like to call Ultra Move. Let's go. Our third Ultra Move of this fight, by the way. Okay. Now that means that I get to Water Thrust you. That's how that works. You. Let's get your. Oh. Well, hey there. Outstanding. First try, baby. Yeah, no, for sure. That was definitely useful, that fight. That was not that big a deal, actually. I didn't even lose anybody. Run! Quickly! I guess that's it for this facility. Were you able to escape, Raphael? What is the meaning of this motto? You destroyed the property of the church. I'm sorry I had to trick you, but I needed you to take out the guards. But Mato, have you forgotten the oathly oath you took? If the chief finds out about this, he... The chief and the villagers agreed to this operation. You're the only punk here, Eagle. Ha 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 ha! What? Why? You've been away for a long time, Eagle. You've missed a lot. There's been so much suffering. The oath we pledged to the church existed because they once saved us from monsters. When we learned the truth about their activities here on Shambhala, we could guess who was responsible for the monster attack. It was the church that created the monsters that attacked us. This is the land of the Sova. The church settled here without asking and forced an oath on us without any guilt. Revenge had to be taken, and so it was. Mato. Oh! What the- Mato? What are you doing? Whether or not our oaths have been wrongly enforced upon us, an oath is an oath, the most important virtue to the Sova. Yet we have broken it. Ego, we've all decided that you can go your own way. Don't tell me that the others... No! We have exploited this group of brave adventurers for our own purposes, and we owe them. You are the strongest of us, and the greatest help to them. 
join them. Mato, think it over. At the first... Isaac, a magic teleporter, it will take you to your destination. Eagle, goodbye. Well, that escalated quickly. No! No, Mato. Wow. Raphael did survive. Your Excellency, what is it about these monsters? Why all this? Shouldn't we help Sir Eagle? He insisted on doing it himself. I'm done. They're all buried. No! Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I will say... Now listen, it is true that there have been circumstances, societies, cultures, organizations to whom oaths mattered more than anything else. But I 100% agree that an oath under force, under bad pretenses to people who lie to you are not oaths that you need to uphold. And to just literally, I mean, what we saw there was essentially Harakiri. Essentially, it was an honor killing, uh, you know, committing, uh, yeah. I, so I agree totally with you, Triffid, and then exactly rising tides. I was fooled to give my word to evil people, but I still gave my word, so that's that, like. I don't know. Also, I don't know why Amalia, didn't she make the pact with death or everything? You know, can't she peel him, maybe? Eagle. They weren't always nice to me, true. I've been away for half of my life, so I hardly relate to them. I was like a stranger in a village that didn't know how to treat strangers. I don't feel angrily angry. Sir Glenn. Yes? There's nothing keeping me here anymore. The Sova wanted me to help you, but that decision is entirely mine. I won't have an oath forced on me like they did. Why don't you tell me what your goal is, and then I'll decide for myself whether I'll help you or not. And then let the storyteller do the explanation. Montage. And I'm gonna get a montage. I see. Okay, I understandably understand. So it's like that. What? You're a group of resistors who stole a weapon of mass destruction and are trying to rid the country of a tyrant? <clears throat> Unexpected. But you want to destroy this grand grimoire. Did I get that right? What's up, Gabawaki? This is what we risked our lives for, yes. And overthrowing a, overthrowing a tyrant sounds like a nobly noble deed as well. All right. As a knight of the dusk blue, I'll join you in good conscience. With your permission, of course. Yeah, our boy Eagle. Proud member of the Sova community on Shambhala. He was sent to the surface to gather knowledge about Aldrea and bring it home. It was there that he met the knight Sir Isaac of Dorver and became his squire. At the end of his training, he returned to his homeland. Because of his naivete and inability to fly, he is often bullied by the others. You may accompany us, provided you promise not to stand in our way. How great, he's coming along. He looks so friendly and fluffy. Excellent. So let this be my new oath. I protect the Crimson Wings and support them in their quest to free Valandis from its tyranny. It is very much like that, Harko. I don't think we need an oath, but welcome aboard, Sir Eagle. Mato said the teleporter to the sanctuary is at the first ASAC in the north. Let's head there. But only after you've leveled up, of course. All right, well, first of all, we're going to save it. All right, and now we're going to actually do our leveling thing. All right, so we've got one Grimoire Shard. Water Strike. Oh, gosh, that could be useful. Shield Ally. Counterattack can be very useful. I like that auto shield too. We're going to do that. Alright, I'm going to come back to auto shield in a minute. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do this now because otherwise I, f I forget what I actually added there. Okay, points up. That is what we're changing with that. And five turns. Yes, please. Okay. Now, let's see. 
Whirling Spear. Self-made venison is nice. Attack plus four is nice. Attack up is nice. Luring Bang. Hmm. Let's go with... More on the stat boosters. Box any magical damage till next turn. Self evasionist is possible, but like that though. I want more health points for Sienna because I use her a lot. So, all right. Uh, let's see. He's got four left to go. Auto aura. I want to check that in a minute. Um. These SOS things, the problem is hit points is under 25% for three turns. It's just like, if they're under 25% for three turns, there's a good chance they're going to get knocked out to begin with. So I don't I don't want them to be in that situation. Uh, I could definitely use that. Okay. Um, what was the thing I was going to look at? Auto Aura. I want to make sure that I have... Whoops. Oh, he does. Okay. All right. Um. Inflicts debuff. Right. Summon the ether. Weapons have to kill. Mm. Okay. Angrily angered. I am angrily angered. Yeah, he's he's a little bit a little bit too much, you know. Thirty percent chance to counter single target physical attack with TP regen. Yeah, I don't think it. That, that's that's wasting. See, the problem with this is. You're wasting a turn to get this thing going for physical attacks. Then you also have to have the physical attack of weakness pierce, which means you have to get rid of these. And you could have just done this to begin with. Like, the only one that I can think of would be maybe wind, but, like, I don't... I'm not, I'm not down with that. Um, I can do this for the moment. This guy, Tomkey, I feel like is just way too quirky. I don't know when I'm going to use him because I'm just kind of like, okay, like... She needs to have her heal all built up, but it's going to take a little while. We're working on that. Uh, probably mind, although here's all status ailments. Five percent chance is not very good. Yeah, I mean, I, that's been kind of my experience. Do you like Tomkey, Drew? I feel like he's... I don't know. I don't like characters that I feel like I have to go out of my way to, like, show particular... I don't know. If I have to do all of these weird things just to, to kind of get him to be functional, it's not really... 
It's not really my bag. Yeah. Oh, have you not? <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen this before, Harko, uh, this right here, these are their sky armors, so we got some mech stuff going on with these guys, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go talk to the merchant. Can I do any of these yet? Can I do any more of these deals? So close. I need one ancient coin to get the Trove of Midas. So yes, we have uh, Instamech, basically. And as you might expect, the mechs are way more powerful than uh, your characters are. But you can't get them into some spots, so... Oh my god. Oh, I think I know about those guys. Hang on a second. Those turtles are nasty. Um, one more and I get a Grimoire Shard. Oh, man. One more. Still can't join the Adventurer's Guild, which still annoys me. Um, three out of six Alpharin. Two Winged Angel. Find a class emblem. Win an encounter against ancient turtles without using magic skills? Now it's the scales of Xenoblade, yes. And I'm a big fan of Xenogears right there. No, it's just basically like a lot of this stuff has just been regular loot, Drew. Like as I find loot throughout the game, I just... I, that's, that's how, basically. I don't think I've been looking for anything special. Two more hidden caves. Man, I just need one more buried treasure. I need a will to live thing. Win an encounter with an all-girls team. It's tempting. One more of those. Out using magic skills, huh? The problem is, these guys are so strong. Actually, you know what? Alright, we're going to try something here. So I'm going to try attacking these things without magic skills. Alright, let's see. Um, without magic skills. So, that's a physical blow. Ah. <laughs> okay. They're a little more powerful. I kind of forgot how powerful these guys are in the mechs. I think we got it. Yes, I got the encounter against ancient turtles. Let's go. Oh, man. Brutal battler. Win 200 points. Or 200 battles. Okay. Awesome. So that means now... I defeated those two. Now I have my claim. So now I can go up here... Now I've got my claim reward that I just got, and what that does is... Hey, it means that I can actually learn some more skills. So, yeah, I forgot how nasty... Those turtles were rough against us individually, but against the mechs, not so much. Okay, so now what we've got is... Yeah.
That was useful that we were that close. Listen, they weren't poor little turtles when I was getting smoked by them uh, earlier on. Um... Could be useful. Also, we could get that. We'll get the counter TP regen, and I want to... Some items. Yeah, I think that's better. Whoops. Yes, I do want to level that up, so I have a 40% chance to counter a single target physical attack with TP regen, which is useful because she uses a fair bit of TP. Oh my gosh. Sometimes the button set up here is annoying. All right. Ultra move up. Oh my god. Alright, that's maxed. Uh, this is where we got that from, by the way, Drew. The, um... Okay. Uh, I think it's from right here. I think it's Caretaker that gives you the search ability for her. Alright, Drew, see you on Thursday. They were some kid's pet. A big kid. A big evil kid. All right. Mm. Paralyze hit. percent chance to counter a single target physical attack. Okay. And... There we go. All right. All saved up. Sure, I don't have anything. Oh. Darn it. Controls. Okay. Now the teleporter. How's it looking, Bethraz? Is this thing still running? It should be. Lenny, come closer, please. It started up! The mechanisms in the ruins of Liana respond to your ether. You are the key, so to speak. Let's try our luck, then. Whoa. Empyrean Ruins. We got some jungle going on. So these are the ruins from my dreams. The Sanctuary of Shambhala. Ah! Lenny, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't know what's going on. Your echo is reacting to this site. We have to be careful. Woof, woof, woof! Is something amiss, Chris? Your lovely dog has a good nose, I must note. Wayne? You? Here? You've got some questions to answer. You're awfully right, Glenn. But if you seek answers, you must first pass the trials of the Empyrean Ruins. Are you mocking me? I wouldn't dare. I will accompany you and see how you fare. You want to travel with us? For a while, at least. Like we're going to trust you. 
Don't be like that, Glenn, but fine. Then go without me. You can't stop me from following you, though. He disappeared. Is that teleportation magic without any mechanism? He certainly didn't learn that in Nisa. Don't worry, I'm still near. Now go ahead. What a strange stranger. Rest assured, I will keep us safe. Ooh, I like that side thing. That's cool. orbs. Okay, right. I did that as the puzzle before. Um, I think I did this wrong. I messed that up. I messed that up. Try it again, shall we? Uh-oh. Uh... Whoops! Um... Oh no, how do I reset the puzzle? Okay, good. That's how you reset the puzzle. I was like, uh... Okay, let's see. Um... I may have... No, I did not mess it up again. There we go. Huzzah! I cannot get through there. Alright then. Digging this music. Doesn't seem like we'll be able to call our sky armors here. That's convenient. <laughs> the thing that would make it all trivial, they're like, well, we don't think we can bring our sky... No, of course you can't bring your sky armors. Why, why would you think you could use your sky armors? I mean... See. Ooh, that reminds me. Decorated vest. I almost forgot. He had some, like, he was either armor or something that I stole from him. remember what it was though but there was something I got from him I mean the decorated vest that I just got that so I don't know if it's like a key item it looked almost like a glove to me like a gauntlet of some kind I don't know what the heck that was. It looked it looked like a glove of some kind and now That is a lot of stars. Man, I wish I had the... If I could remember what the heck that thing looked like. 
Because it looked like a gauntlet, and I don't... doesn't seem to have anything new going on there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's go. Blue clock spider, red clock spider, they're all weak to water, huh? Okay. Ow. 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 Super defended. Let's get a defense buff up first. Okay. Stop hitting him. against them. All right. Uh, let's see. Ouch. Let's get the healing him going. Cover ally, which is good. Nice, nice, good stuff. Not as much as you would have been doing, is it? Very valuable. I love this. Uh, let's see. Why can't he load up before a fight is what I want to know. Okay. Me into overheat, which is not good. Damn it. Let's get out overheat here. Weak to water, right? Could use the ultra move here, possible, but it's going to bring us to an overheat, which is not great. No. I'm doing that just to get into overdrive out of overheat. It's going to do a lot more damage otherwise.
again to get back in overdrive. He sucks at that stuff, but again, it was the overdrive thing. Stop attacking him. Okay. Now we're going to charge. And water jump to all. There we go. Still does 66 damage. Healed. That's good timing. This may take him out. No, nope. close though. Bye. I could have used an ultra move earlier on. That was probably a mistake not to do that, but. Hey. Nice. Okay, not bad. You guys are a little tough, but not too bad. Better be leading to a good spot. That's all I gotta say. Oh god, who's that guy? Alright, well, let's let's do this deal. I'm not taking any chances this time around. Okay. Alright, Golem. Rayon fiber, huh? Out. Out. Keep Victor alive, please. Defense buff, please. I love that weakness. And he's got Petal Storm. Very nice. Alright, uh, let's see. They've already got all that stuff. So, let's cross slash on you. Lovely. Ow. Ow, I'm really glad I got Cover Ally up. He's already on bleed. So, Petal Storm. Nice. So good, this pedal storm. Oh no, whirling punch! That seemed really bad. Uh... Nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, now healing him. I am close to overheating. This went up pretty quickly. I've got to drop that down quickly. Uh, let's go with... Go with Victor. Okay, good. 
attack. That hurts, but cover ally. Cover ally has been doing serious work so far. I gotta remember to cover ally more rapidly in the next time because I've not done that all the time. Uh, let's. Yep. Let's increase the crit buff there. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't love that overdrive move. I gotta get I gotta get some other moves with there too, but Joke's on you. Plus counterattack. How's that feel? Okay, got HP regen. Gotta get TP regen up there in a minute too. Yes, with a counterattack. I love it. Ah, only one. Nice. Critical hit. Okay. Um, let's load the gun spear. Okay, let's cross slash this guy. Get the Valor, Valor Minuet going. A lot of these buffs and regens, if you do them earlier in the fight, have more chance to take advantage. In this case, I couldn't do it quite that earlier. But... Thank you for the subscription, Del Wolf. Thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you for the 32 months of support. My goodness, appreciate that. Uh, I could ultra move here because I'll get it back. I don't know, I'll think about that. Again. Okay, now what we're doing here is we're going to heal all. We got Petal Storm coming up. Can't help it, I need to use this. It's going to bring me into overheat, but. Yeah, I knew I was going to take one of those on the chin. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Even though this is technically a little bit of a waste. I will have about half of the bar built up on Ultra Move by the time the end of this fight happens, I think. So. Let's charge it up. cover a bunch of them. I guess does he cover everybody? That would be pretty cool if true. Technically, I could have taken out that other guy, but I want to do more damage on that other one, especially because he had poison going on. I think it's okay, especially because they heal up at the end, so. Okay. And that's the end of you. Not going to work, but it'll drop us into uh, back into overdrive. Hey, look at me! Good stuff. Nice work. Nice work. Okay. Go 
the right way. Yeah. It's better have been worth it. Parade armor? Okay. Well, that was worth it. I see you, game. I see you. Game's like, alright, here, is it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Interesting. Did I have to activate for that, that for some reason? I may have had to activate that, so that may have been important, actually. Uh, right. Okay. came down there already. Okay. Alright, well we'll see whether I needed to open that thing, but I can't imagine that it's a bad thing that I triggered something. You see those two plates at the gate? Yeah? We need to activate them by finding switches somewhere close by. Hey! hey! Way ahead of you, Bethraz! We already did activate those switches. At least one of them. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can activate the other one. Two of these guys, okay. Shield and aura, huh? Alright, uh let's get going with a let's get everybody critted up. Whirling punch. Ow. The back end. Uh let's cover Victor. He does not yet have this, but let's lower your power, shall we? Punch. Don't still don't have ultra move yet. Man. If both of your attack breaks are done. You're on bleed. Uh, oh shoot, she has pedal storm. Forgot. That was a mistake. I forgot she had pedal storm. Um That was a mistake. All right, well. Okay. Yep, and a guy used up. Shoot. Oh, well. All right, let's go. Power armor salvo. Take these guys down to the Paradise City, where there are no wind-ups, so they're not very pretty. And it's not as powerful as it was before. Still kind of powerful, though. Um, load that gun spear.
Nice. Let's heal all. There we are. Worth it, because by the time I get to the end, that ultra move is back up again anyway, so. Uh, you still have bleed on there. Uh, let's go with... Nice. No problems. Nice. That's actually very useful. I was down to, I think, one of those. And now I'm back up to four. Very nice. Those are also expensive. Interesting. Okay, so... Ah, welcome back to more of these guys. Um, okay, crit buff. Second verse, same as the first. We just did this a second ago, Chad. We can do it again. We have the technology. Uh, defensive buff, please. Arms break. Let's go on you, please. I like that critical hit. Um, cover Victor. Not as strong. Stronger. Okay, uh, what are we doing? We are doing arms break on you. Nice, again with the critical, I love it. Um, nice, that was to drop that down. Okay, now. Uh, let's not let's not let's not mess around. First aid to Eagle. Hey. Okay. Get you on bleed. I love that. Get you on armor break as well. Your armor is broken. Armor is broken like the first armor. Overheat. Yeah. Very nice. Drop that down. Extended. Yeah, let's do it. Technically a bit of a waste because they already had these buffs, some of them, but it's going to do damage in addition. And it will also break on their magic side, so... Ah, okay, good. I was going to say, I was like, come on now. Regen. He's like, hey, how dare you do that? The power of cross slash compels you. Uh, get your bleeding too. First aid to me. Still doing that cover. What's great about that is not only that it covers for the ally, but that it also mitigates the effect even when it hits. And that's a very good thing. Nice. Well done. Good, good, good. I think that should be the same kind of building we had before. Oh. No, we have instead Kerberos.
That improves everything. That's cool. Not what I was looking for, but I'm not going to complain. complicated over time, I can already see. And again, save anywhere, chat. Save anywhere is a good thing. There's the other switch. Both are. Hey. Ah, okay, another one of these puzzles. Uh. Oh boy. Okay, so. So if we go up here, up here, here, there. Oh, whoopsie! Let's, re let's regenerate those. Okay. So, up here, over here. No! Damn it. Put the wrong thing. Okay, up here, over here, down there. not right. Okay, so let's see. We have to get it here, basically. That's where we have to get it. So, if I go here, it's one of them. Right up here, go over there, that's not going to work. If I go up here, and I go left, and then I go down, and then I go over, that's not going to work. If I go up, I just did that. If I go left, and then up, and then over, I think I made a mistake. Let's find out. Yep, made a mistake. Interesting. So, oh, I'm okay. There's one. Did I just do that? I think I literally just did that. I think I literally just did that. Okay. Let's try this another way, shall we? If I go here, right, I'm going to go up here. That lands there. And then if I go here, and up here. If I push this over... Okay, if I can't push this left, so I either have to push it right. If I push this left, this goes here. And then comes down here and gets destroyed. So that doesn't work. If I push this right... Lands there. No, this is not right. Yeah. Nope, that's wrong. Hmm, this one is a little tricky. 
Little tricky, okay. Up here. Go this way. not right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm wrong. Wow. All right. 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 So, the ways to get to this thing are from here. From here. Or from I mean that's the only one I have to somehow get it from here It goes here, then it goes up here. All right. One goes here, then it goes up here and stops. It doesn't work because if it goes this way, then it's destroyed. So, if I go up this way, it's destroyed. If I go down this way, it's destroyed. So I can go left or right. If I go left and then push up, that solves that problem. Then, can I get it to... Okay, if I push this this way, that gets blocked there. Then, if I push this up... If I push that that way, that gets blocked there. Then I go up, over, down. No. Somehow, I have to get something on this line. Oh, I think, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I see it. Uh, so. Like that. And then. Okay. And then I go. This is it. And then we go like this. Yeah, let's go. Haha, -ha, hey, Illness. Yes, it is. We just solved it. Took a little bit of thinking, but we got there. What? Are these like the friendly golems? Woof, woof. More golems. They don't seem to be very aggressive. They are working, tending some fields, feeding the birds. How strange. The golems were created by the builders of these ruins thousands of years ago. Some defend this place from invaders, while others, like them here, maintain it. And they're still functioning after such a long time. Bound to a mission from which they can never break free. Is that sentimentality I hear in your voice? What a rarity! She, 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 she. I feel great respect in the face of such devotion to duty. 
There is no devotion. The golems do what they're programmed to do. They never had a choice. Now, don't be such a killjoy. Can we please move on? Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot that I should keep my distance. Forgive me. Yes. Since we're out of the forest area, we should be able to board our sky armors here. Well, that's what I like to hear. Let's board them. Fishing is supposed to be the way to get food called fish. I have been sitting here for over 2,000 years and have not caught anything yet. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, well, you see. I wonder what these carrots taste like. We grow vegetables to make sure the knowledge is not lost. Why do I feed the birds to keep the cycle of life running? These birds here are not able to feed themselves anymore. It is humanity's fault. You always have to interfere with nature. Even now, look, you have scared the birds away. I'm oh, sorry, my dude. Agamemnon. Hmm. Thought. Anything over here? Okay. Uh. Uh. Hi. Weak against water. Okay. Those are big gorillas, incidentally. Just to be clear, in case anyone was curious, those are big, big gorillas. Um. Oh, that's useful. Um... Piercer! Okay. Your attack is broken. Again, this storm, man. Oh, I wanted to use water on him, damn it. It's a good question. I, I could see either one. I don't really think Kerberos has anything to do with the mythological thing here, because I don't see the connection, you know, that it would have. So I'm guessing that it's more the protocol, the authentication protocol. 
At least that sounds more techy, theoretically, right? Very nice, I love it. Here, sir. Prepare to all. And piercer. Outstanding. Huge tooth. Sword and shield. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Oh boy. Uh All right. Fallen dragon. Weak against earth, huh? Weak. All right. Uh let's go with Charge. Blinded. That's right, you missed, because you were blinded. Um, let's see. It's defensive break. Where did it fall from? It has wings. Yeah, maybe the wings don't work, though. Maybe it chose to fall, Hillness, you know? Don't just assume that it fell. Maybe that it, you know, maybe it just, that was its plan. It wanted to fall, you know? Nice. Ether Cannon 300, huh? Alright. <laughs> you know, maybe it's flying along someday and it's just like, you know, I I don't whoops. It's like I don't I don't wanna, you know. I don't wanna be here, I wanna fall, you know. Okay, I'm not going there yet. The Glaive V300. The Glaive, the coolest weapon of all time. That's what I meant to do before. Broke my own rule of using their same weapons to uh, build them up. Hey, Zalus. Okay, let's see. This is... Yeah, I'm getting some good stuff for the Sky Armor. Getting a lot of good stuff for the Sky Armor. Uh, Ovelia. Let's go with the Ovelia. Also, there are no treasure chests left. Sky armor is much, much easier to navigate with over all of this than uh, just using my regular. I don't. In fact, I don't think I could actually. Now that I'm looking at it, navigate it without the sky armor.
All right, I'll be here for another 20 minutes or so, folks, and then I'm going to be, uh, as I mentioned, cutting the stream early because I have uh, an event of my daughter's at, the, at her school that I have to go to. So I'm going to be doing that. And the next time you'll see me will be Thursday for the big event at the Klein uh, for my ARVCON charity convention to benefit the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation. And if you go over to my channel and type in exclamation point Klein, you will be able to see the details on how you can order tickets to see it yourself. GOGCOM uh, is, in fact, a sponsor of this event. Sent me a bunch of game codes as giveaways. So if you want tabletop roleplay, giveaways, interviews, a concert, uh, you've got all kinds of stuff that you're going to want to check that out uh, all weekend, starting with a live Dungeons & Dragons event on Thursday that will be broadcast both in person, so if you come to the Klein in Bridgeport, Connecticut, you can go there yourself, or which can also be brought, which will be broadcast as well from the Klein uh, in an online stream, and those are $5 tickets for those two. So. Our constructor sent us here not quite 3,000 years ago. Since then, we have been working day in and day out. Don't forget, we can't board our sky armors in high grass. No, I certainly can't forget that. But I can board them here. Ha ha ha! Well, well. Any reason I want to battle those dudes? Oh, that's why. Actually, I could just skip them, but. Alright. Uh, let's see. Earthshot. Oh shoot, is that not what they're weak to? They're weak to water? Aw, oh, damn it. Wrong thing. Blinded. Yeah, you missed. Okay, now these are vulnerable to water. That's what I meant to do. That's a little weak. Little weak. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think that middle one is one I already blinded. Yes. Okay, good. Um, your attack is broken. That's more like it. That's what we like to see. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
inactive. You will not move. You're unable to act. That's right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now. Charge. Um. That was awesome. Wait, does he not have Piercer anymore? I gotta check his weaponry. Something's wrong there. Yeah, it's not the Glaive. I gotta do something else. This is wrong. I will fix it. I gotta fix Glenn's armor. That's not right. Because he had that right. Okay. Yeah, back to the greatsword. I want him to be able to do piercer. Hey, that's better. All right, worth it. like a lot of weapons and armor in here. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, hammer and shield. We want the H300. How do I get that? Have to defeat two of those fallen dragons? Our constructors are not the ones responsible for the construction of these ruins. They are merely using them for their own purposes. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna take get. I'm gonna take a chance that these that going over this way is worth it. A week to Earth, right? Okay. Unable to act. Okay. And... Charge. Ouch. Offensive break. Could have used defensive there, I guess, too, but okay. Nice, good on all counts. Ow. Right, you missed. Okay, he's gone. Now. Okay. Okay, he's been active, but I don't think he's been blinded yet. Oh, well. That's not going to work with Fire Breath, is it? That's unfortunate. Whoopsie! It was all part of the plan, and then that happened. Actually. That's good. Okay, now if I'm right, I don't think I was right, man. Because I was thinking I could maybe cut over there and I could. Well. Too bad, so sad. Right, I'm going to be leaving you folks in about seven minutes to go to my daughter's thing. We maintain the ruins. From time to time, the janitors of the Leonar Order visit us and inspect our work. Can't do that, huh? Can't go down there either. So where do I have to go to do this? Uh... Okay. This might be the last fight. In fact, it probably is going to be the last fight.
active. Nice. Out. Out. This should hit all of them. It should get rid of that guy in the bottom. Guess it did. Okay, that's what I like to see. Okay, I have to do that, unfortunately, because I got it. Otherwise, I'm going to go into the overheat mode, which would be bad. Hey, what's up, Keister? Only here for another few minutes, I'm afraid, because I've got a uh, thing to go to that my uh, radio play thing that my daughter is doing, so. I'm only going to be here until the end of this fight, basically. Okay, uh... Here, sir. Love that move. Okay, uh... Carol? You've been lurking while working? Oh, very nice. It's always a good thing to do. Very nice. Okay. Pretty sure he was blinded. Which means he misses, and that's a good thing, because that would have been very bad. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, piercer. Attack. No, that was... Oh, okay, right. That makes sense, actually. Defensive break you. Okay. Outstanding. That's what we wanted to do because now that we're here, we get the Paris FP300. He had the Paris F300, didn't he? That's good in every way for him except that one. We'll come back to that. Slightly less TP, slightly less mind. Otherwise, yes. Okay. Awesome. All right, folks. Well, that is going to do it for me for today. Um, good times. Uh, good times, as they say. Uh, we are now up to uh, almost 40 hours that we've played on this game, and we've made some good progress. I don't know that I'm just going to be nothing but chained, uh, you know, chained echoes all day, every day, um, but uh, I've definitely been having a good time playing this. What's up, Magic Sky Shark? So um, I have been enjoying this quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, we will see how things go next week. But right now, I am going to head off and go to uh, this thing for, as I say, my daughter. Uh, I'm going to go there and uh, enjoy supporting her. And then I will be back on my channel on Thursday. And again, for this Klein event, uh, this is the opening to my ARVCON charity convention, which is sponsored this year by GOG.com, as well as a number of other places. So if you want to see a lot of tabletop play and giveaways and concerts and interviews with uh, cancer research scientists and all that kind of stuff, then this is the place to be. You can go over to my channel and type in exclamation point Klein if you want more details, or you can go to the Klein.org org if you want to get information about that and otherwise i will be on my channel uh as i say thursday night but then friday night and onwards i'll be back here doing the uh the virtual thing so uh 
Otherwise, I want to thank everyone for being here today. This was a great time. Thank you to all the lovely viewers. Uh, please make sure you follow us here on God Comes Twitch channel. Subscribe to us here on God Comes Twitch channel. And please check out our individual uh, channels as well um, for our own subsystems and Patreons and all that kind of good stuff. Thank you, Infinity. Thank you, Magic Sky Shark. Thank you, Geister. And thank you, everybody. And I will uh, see you lovely folks back here uh, next Tuesday for more Pen and Pixels or hopefully over uh, the weekend to support the D&D with GOG crew, Pyron Jade and company, and to support uh, Kilgore Trout, who's going to be doing one of the concert uh, appearances as well for ARVCON on Saturday night. Uh, also, I should mention, while on the subject of Kilgore, he's going to be here in about I think five, six hours or so, um, and he's going to be playing some more Firmament, so you'll definitely want to check that out. But that's it for me. Thanks, everyone. Uh, much love to all of you folks. Be good to each other, and I will see you folks back here soon. Until then, everyone, as I say, be good to each other, and bye for now.